Hey, this is Mae McDonough, and this is the Psychedelic Cherry episode 11, Cassette Hall Friends Edition. Ow. Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Psychedelic Cherry. Today is episode 11. That's really cool. Um, so thank you for watching. Um, and uh, someone requested that I do a vinyl haul, another one. And uh, I thought, you know, I should really do that. That's easy to do and I haven't done a blog in three, three months. Um, and then uh, I took a weekend and went into Lollipop Records and actually bought up a bunch of cassette tapes um, of all my friends' bands who are being sold there. And uh, they're really great. They're really fucking great albums. So today's vinyl haul is actually going to be a cassette haul friends edition. Now I have to say cassettes have come back in and I was... I had mixed feelings about that for a little while just because cassettes I remember cassettes when I was a kid, when I was really little, and, and I remember that they get stuck in the machine and they get eaten and they melt and uh, you have to kind of wind them up with your finger and untangle them and they don't even sound that great. So it took me a while to be on board, but I do come from the land of cassette tapes right now. I come from the Burger Record <laughs> County and Burger Records really brought cassettes back in style. Now what's the benefit of the cassette? Well, it's really cheap to make, which means it can be really cheap to sell, which means you can get a physical record in the hands of your fans, and that's pretty cool. So eventually, my band, The May Company, released a cassette recently on Ghoul House Records. So I am officially down for the cassette wave. We'll see how, how long it lasts. That said, here are the cassettes I got. So the first cassette I got, it's empty because it's in my cassette player and I'm lazy, um, is Gap Dream. If you haven't heard Gap Dream, they're really fantastic. They're definitely a part of the psychedelic wave going on right now. Um, very fuzzy, very warm sound. Um, but also very melodic, you know, the, the melodies don't get lost amongst the noise. My friend Mike, I go way back with Mike, um, I haven't seen him in a long time, but uh, we were teenagers doing terrible things <laughs> together. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Gap Dream, go check them out. And this record is actually two Gap Dream records put together on one cassette. Now that's a steal, right? Second cassette I got is by Cosmonauts. Now this is not their latest record, but I have a lot of Cosmonauts records because I remember when they used to play every other Tuesday or so at this little place called the Crosby in downtown Santa Ana. And it was just us and our friends going to those shows and playing those shows. I go back a long time with this band, loving this band. And uh, they also played Orange Fuzz Fest, which I threw uh, last October, November. Um, they are really cool. If you don't know Cosmonauts, they have this perfect blend of that really awesome, gritty 60s garage sound mixed with this kind of 90s Brit rock thing um, and it really works. They're one of the only bands I would love to see in, a, in an arena because their sound is so huge and um, it's not arena rock, don't get me wrong, <laughs> but um, they really fill up the space and it's, they just get better and better. They're a fantastic band. Uh, that's the Cosmonauts. This album is called If You Wanna Die, Then I Wanna Die. Okay, next cassette tape I got is Jesse Jones, self-titled, I think. Um, Jesse is a 
really cool girl, first of all. Jessie, when she was 17, was she was in a band called Feeding People, and they got pretty big. Um, but they started out in my garage, actually. <laughs> they used to rehearse and record in my garage. Um, but now she's gone off on her own, um, and she's released this on Burger Records. And uh, it's really cool. It's, it's a very... Um, how do I put this? It's almost celebratory in sound. It's very uplifting, fun to sing along to, and um, it's got a psychedelic in that kind of like psych pop zone. Um, it reminds me like a cross between 60s psychedelia and MGMT. So, um, I would check her out, and uh, yeah, Jessie's great, so check out Jessie Jones. So the fourth cassette I got, um, I didn't actually get it at Lollipop, but I'm gonna do this anyways, because he's a friend, and it's really good, and I bought it through a different store. But um, my friend Sean, um, is in a band called Sean Gospel and the Night Stalkers. Now this is just a Sean Gospel record, but um, Sean runs Ghoul House, which put out our cassette, and is a good friend of ours. And the thing about Sean is he actually makes really good music. It's really, really good. And um, if I didn't know him, I'd definitely buy it. That's I'll say that about all these artists, but um, really good, just rockin' fuzzy psychedelic garage, you know. So this album's called Sean Gospel Heart Felters and Face Melters EP and uh, it's it's great. It's great. It makes me want to get into Black Jesus, my uh, my old <laughs> 61 Mercury Comet and just drive really fast. So uh yeah, go check out Sean Gospel and the Night Stalkers. So the fifth cassette I got is by the ladies of Bonbon, Bonbon, uh, trying to pronounce the accent mark, it's important. These ladies, first of all, can play. This is straight up surf rock. This is just straight up really strong, good, hard surf rock, and they write it really well. Uh, they're also really cool ladies. They're always down to play. Um, they're always down for whatever. <laughs> I really appreciate having that sort of relationship with them. So um, yeah, check out Bonbon if you like surf rock. Check out Bonbon. They're so good. So good. Okay, so last but not least, is how many is that? One, two, three, four, five. This is the sixth cassette I got. That's the beauty of cassettes, they're cheap. Um, and this is Rudy Deonda. Now, Rudy is from Long Beach, and I think Joel Jerome is his drummer. If you're familiar with Joel Jerome, he's a really great producer in LA. A really nice guy. They also played. Um, Orange Fuzz Fest, and so did Bomb Bomb and Sean Gospel, actually. A lot of these bands did. But, uh, Rudy Deonda is like a really, definitely psychedelic. It's definitely a 60s vibe. They're like reverb and sunshine. So check out Rudy Deonda. They are fantastic. I can't read this. What does it say? Ostronen? Ostronen? Rudy, I greatly apologize if you watch this and I can't pronounce the name of your album. <laughs> Please message me and tell me how to pronounce your album. That's it. That's been my cassette haul. Uh, check out The Psychedelic Cherry on Facebook and please subscribe below because that's the thing that you gotta do if you like something. Yeah. Thanks!
I don't know. Can you see that? It was really a terrible way to end an episode.